In this video you will see how we heat water in our Toyota Caravan with a relatively low power consumption. For this we use an immersion heater that has a nominal power consumption of 1000 watts. The water is inside a 1 liter steel thermos flask. Be careful of course not to fill it up too much to prevent the boiling water of sparking out of the flask. The water here has an initial temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and takes around 5 to 5.5 five minutes to boil. We successfully used the heater with different inverters. It also worked well on a relatively small model like the Votronic 1200 watts and the 12 volt 200 ampere Liontron battery without any issues. There are even immersion heater models with lower power consumptions, often with a portable denomination, but of course it will then take accordingly longer to boil the water. But it might make sense if you have a smaller battery system or inverter. And there are uh, DC models as well that can be attached directly to a battery without an inverter at all. But the main point for us was that this immersion heater just fits perfectly into the flask, so after boiling we can leave the water inside the flask without the need for an additional pot and without having it to pour from one pot to the flask either. You can see that the heater has a small plastic hook that holds it in place so it does not touch the bottom or any side of the flask. After use the device is certainly hot, but um, it cools down quite quickly. If you use the water and empty the flask right away and do not have a proper surface on where to cool it, uh, you can stick it back into the flask for cooling of course. And when they're not in use, um, the water heater takes nearly no space at all, or at least much less space than a normal electric water heater. Two years ago, this water heater cost us roughly around 25 Swiss franc. This is around 25 euros or 22 Great Britain pounds. This model is called Prosper Real, whatever this means. But as I said, there are plenty of different models out there. We do some fast forward here because though it can be quite entertaining to see water boiling up, it might not be the case for everyone. And finally, the water is boiling. And as you can see, on the timer we are under five and a half minutes. Don't forget to unplug the heater, as it doesn't have a sensor to detect when the water is boiling. The description, however, says it has a dry detection feature, but I really never tried that out. So, this is it for today.